Hey guys, Amber Oxy60 here. Um, today I'm gonna be making sort of like a vlog thing or whatever. And uh, I don't usually do these a lot, but I just have to talk about this because it's a topic going on today. So I will be putting on my Dirk shades and getting started. So, as most of you guys know, today is 4-13, April 13th, 2016, which means today is the end of Homestuck in general. And honestly, I was not prepared at all. So I just need to talk about it. I joined the fandom in 2014 and that was my first 413. That's actually the day I got into Homestuck too. Coincidence. Um, <laughs> and I really liked it and it's like I've been going to cosplay meetup since 2013 of December so I've been seeing these Homestuck cosplays for a while now. And I thought they were really cool and it got to the point where oh I liked Gamzee and I just like Gamzee and then I liked everybody and then I finally decided to read it. I was introduced to read Homestuck when I was maybe like the summer before seventh grade and the summer after sixth grade. So it was in between that. So I might have been like 12, I think. And I was introduced by my ex and I thought it would be weird and I didn't want to read it. And I remember all I got to was the first act and I was just like done. But then after like a year or two after, you know, after 2013, 2014, I finally decided to read it, and it was the best decision I've ever made. I've been going to all these cosplay meetups, I've been doing Homestuck cosplays, and it honestly makes me so happy because Homestuck can just, like, give you an opportunity to make friends and, like, do shit that like if you're into social you could go to a cosplay meetup you could read homestuck and there are so many like websites and pages you could go like hey does anyone like homestuck and you're probably gonna meet some people and you guys could become great friends and that's what i did at the mall i cosplayed homestuck and i became friends with people and i met a lot of friends just because of homestuck Homestuck did a big part in my life. It made me happier. It helped me meet my ex, um, Darian, and he was like one of the best Gamzy cosplayers I've ever met. <laughs> um, in person, anyway. He was always really fun to hang out with, and we always just talked about Homestuck together, and that's what I always wanted, I guess. Someone to talk about Homestuck with, but not so much that it gets annoying. <laughs> like some of my friends in real life, they talk about it too much that it gets annoying. So I'm like, Ugh. Homestuck isn't just about the shipping and the characters and the blah, 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 you know, whatever. It's about so much more. There's a story to you. You have to really appreciate it, like, I guess. I know there's a lot of people who say Homestuck's crap, but have they really read it? I think they just think the fandom's shit. And the fandom sometimes is shit. Every fandom has a bad side to it. But we can't help that. I mean, the bad side can help that, but we can't help that. Us, as the good side, cannot help that there's bad people in the fandom. So, to the people who think Homestuck suck, you don't have to be in the fandom to like it. 
So, I think that you should just give it a chance without the fandom getting involved. Don't tell anybody. Just, like, keep it to yourself, and if you like it, you like it. And you can't really do anything about that. Ever since I started reading Homestuck, I've been happier in a way and Homestuck just makes me so excited though I am a little lazy so I just watch the let's reads but that makes it more fun because then you're like you're like oh my new video's out and I just love hearing the voices and I love like, having a narrator and like it's just so great um Sadly, I won't be caught up for a while because they haven't made a video in six months and um, <laughs> you things like that. And I am, I'm only on Act 6, Act 6, End, and I'm still waiting for like um, intermission, I guess. End of Homestuck is going to affect a lot of people, maybe not in the best way. But it may affect us in some good ways or in some bad ways. Because there are a lot of people who get stuck in a fandom and then since it's still going on, they can't reach out to another fandom even if they want to. And I kind of know how that feels, I guess, because... I was with that with uh, My Little Pony. Like once I got into that, I didn't think I was going to be able to get into anything else. Like I dissed Doctor Who, I dissed like Homestuck, I was like no, only My Little Pony and the people who think My Little Pony are trash are trash. I'm like no, that's not good. You shouldn't call people trash because they don't like shit. That's their opinion I guess. And sometimes you don't like someone's opinion, but can you do anything about that? No, you cannot. But, uh, My Little Pony didn't end at all. It's still going. It's still working on episodes, and an uh, episode's going to come out on Saturday. Ooh. But, um, I just had someone open my eyes and say, like, you can get into other stuff. It's fine. It's not going to go there anywhere. And if it does, you can always catch up. It's... Because there's so many sites with the thing in it. And I was like, you know what, you're right. So I got into Steven Universe, Doctor Who. I got into Homestuck. I got into all these things. I got into Broadway's. I love it. Shrek the Musical's great, by the way. Go watch it. <laughs> um, I got into all these things. And I got to make more cosplays for these things. And it just got me more friends. And Homestuck was probably the best one so far because I've met the most people and the mo all these people are so friendly and I really don't get where the bad people are because these Michigan Homestucks are just so nice. And people always say, oh yeah, but they'll throw buckets at your head. I haven't seen that yet. So please show me, give me proof of someone in Michigan throwing a bucket at your head in the name of Homestuck. <laughs> but, um, I'm gonna miss Homestuck a lot. And I know a lot of people will too. Homestuck's done a lot for people. Sometimes it like ends depression, sometimes it starts depression. I mean, it doesn't start depression, but it, get, it makes you sad. Homestuck has a lot of feels, a lot of happy times, a lot of sad times, a lot of death. But they always come back to life. Sometimes. <laughs> and I feel like a lot of us weren't ready for this. A lot of us didn't see it coming. We didn't want it to end. And like... And not, we all knew it was going to end, but we didn't think it was going to end this soon. We thought maybe like on oh, its 10 year anniversary in three years or something. But I understand um, Andrew Hussey can't just be working on Homestuck his whole life. He needs to like branch out, I guess. And I 
can like I understand but it is very hard for people in the fandom like me and my friends and everything just like who had such a big impact on Homestuck that it's finally ending and I didn't want to say goodbye yet because I just said hello two years ago but it does have to end everything ends because I guess I'll quote something one of my favorite quotes nothing gold can stay and everyone's gold is different but nothing gold can stay and Homestuck was basically my gold. I have many gold things. But, um, I would just like to say goodbye to Homestuck. Once I am catched up, I will probably be rereading you just as soon as I, I finish. Because I need to relive my life. <laughs> Just like I do with Shrek the Musical. So, goodbye Homestuck. Thank you for giving the, your fans such a big impact in their life. And thank you Andrew Hussey for making this possible. And thank you for like going on for so long <laughs> with this webcomic even if you didn't want to. We're all going to miss you and your webcomic very much. Bye.